Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, and uh, welcome to something slightly out of the ordinary. Now, I've been saying for a while that I either needed to get rid of a few tools, translate a few into a lot, uh, or I needed to expand my home workshop. And uh, I've come up with an excuse for expanding the workshop and keeping the tools. And for a long time, I have been promising uh, to build a small timber store. There's a hell of a lot of stuff in here and a lot of guitars to be working on, a lot of current projects, machines, tools, there's a lot of wood, a lot of mess. And uh, the layout's pretty cool. I don't want to lose the view. I might end up actually moving all of this around. This wall, this wall may not exist fairly soon. There they are. There's Jasper, there's Baby. Hey Baby. The plan is I am going to put a whole other workshop on this space. It's a kit shed that I've bought with everything pre-cut because I have not got the energy to build from scratch. And it's gonna sit in front of this one, be taller, still with the pitch roof and all that. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to join the two to make one big T-shaped workshop. Shush guys, I'm filming. Jackdaws, eh? Rebels. Burn it. <laughs> First of all, I need to go and uh, bring the wood up from uh, <laughs> from the front and take it down there. Excuse the garden, everything's a mess at the moment. I thought that, Isotunes, I've just listened to like three hours of uh, Stevenson's Cryptonomicon, which is uh, an awesome book, Crimson 10. Get yourself a discount on Isotunes, they're amazing. At the beginning, I thought I would be completely customizing the entire um, shed as it, as it stands and uh, changing the layout and the, of the front and the windows and the doors and stuff. And actually, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I don't want a back wall and I want to sort of expand it out sideways because uh, the, uh, the current width would be about halfway through that, the, the side windows there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get rid of this, most of this wall here. It should now, now that everything's organized, I came off the truck a little bit haphazardly, it should now be all right. Uh, I think, I think I know what I'm doing. This is the last box. I'm sincerely hoping for some instructions in here. And this isn't going to be the last time I use my Leatherman on this build. I am absolutely sure of it. Aha! There we go. All right. I've been worrying about this. I thought I could probably figure it out, but um, yeah. Ah, this is good. On with uh, construction. I love you, Leatherman. First try. This is a shed. And and that 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 is a that is a shed. And they don't actually meet. Now the issue is I've got uh, an overhang there. I don't particularly want to climb on the roof and cut that whole thing off. I really don't. I do want to join them into one big cathedral-like space, as it were. So instead of building up as the plans say and just going 
up and making a wall there. I need to actually chop these middle sections or this back wall up and I want to extend it out to here and create a bunch of floor space. Yeah, that's going to require some actual thought. I'm not sure I'm actually currently in the frame of mind for thought. I think I've just changed my mind. I don't want to touch that. That is the uh, wiring. And it goes down onto this pillar. And it goes down onto that pillar as well there. And there's even some down on that pillar over there. My thought was we knock the windows out and then we can walk into that workshop. If all I'm going to be gaining by knocking out entire walls and things like that is that much space, I don't, I'm not that desperate for space. This is more about, well, I'm not that desperate for space. So I could literally just have a portal the size of this door and it's, you know, you come into the inner sanctum and you go out to the outer sanctum. Now with the door open, we can, uh, we can chat. And from the outside, it gives me this space here to store material. And that one, of course, as well. I'm now making you guys ill. And I probably, well, I thought I had pre-planned this actually. So yeah, we're just, we're just evolving. It would be good to have a direct line of sight from wherever I end up having my tools and my workbench to whoever is in the office. Life would be interesting if I had an extra few cameras and a slightly bigger system in here. But uh, at this point, I'm starting to feel greedy. Greedy, I tell you. I'm thinking that I'm going to build this out here, put the whole thing up and then figure out what happens afterwards, which means instead of using the crosscut saw to cut the back to size, I'm going to build it and then attack it with a jigsaw. The other benefit is if I'm not completely getting rid of all of these windows, then I've still got a, a nice amount of natural light in this workshop, even if there is a wall here. I'm sort of thinking that I want to have a wall down the middle of the two windows and get rid of this window here. That opens into the office and that window there next to the cat who's saying, what the hell are you doing? And uh, yeah, that could work very well, actually. I don't know what I'm doing, cat. Just exploring. Done? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna chop this off here, cut the whole back wall, so I'm gonna have a, a load of extra wood, and essentially from the inside, screw it to the ends of what's left as we build up here, and that will then be screwed there to a section of wood. It'll be nice and solid, uh, watertight, hopefully, and uh, good. And it's, um, yeah, going to be meeting just outside that window there. Here's a story stick. So that's the, the length that I need to cut off from, with, from the joint. And I'm literally just using that. I don't need to know if it's 76 millimeters or whatever. It's just chop there, done, dust it. the other pieces going there and joining with the wall nice and simple like
sun is getting low. Yeah. It's a two-person job. There's no such thing as a two-person job. Okay, no, no, that was that was definitely a two-person job. Holy. lot of other stuff happening over the next three or four days so uh, well I hope the weather stays dry it's gonna be cool always put your tools away and your coffee mugs day two ish I did a little bit of work put the window in the other day but uh, at this stage we're gonna finish today apparently it's raining tomorrow so I want to get most of this up and uh, at least covered over. And uh, then the real fun begins, which is painting and kitting out the workshoppy bed. We'll get there. And uh, turns out I was being uh, surveyed. Hey, Tiger. Yeah. Well, not surveyed. Somewhat successful. There's a uh, there's a child on the roof doing the actual screen screws in. So. Uh... The weather has turned damp, but. Uh... Well, we're pretty much not quite watertight. Most of the wood's inside. I need to get a proper roof on there, but uh, that can wait. I've got some guitars to build.
Uh, the lights are going down. Yeah, I've had a fairly chunky evening covered in paint, but uh, there we go. So it's coming together. I wasn't really sure what we were going to do here, uh, but hey, looks all right. Focus. There we go. I obviously still need to sort out wiring and electronics and all that sort of stuff as well. That's where my bench is going to be. Can't wait. At this stage, the shell is done, and uh, and I'm starting to get some stuff in here. I don't have wiring. I haven't sorted out the uh, the roof truss system yet. I need to I need to get a, an entire system up uh, for for cameras and lights and all of that sort of stuff. And you can see what's happened to my life in the meantime. It is utter sheer chaos. Sheer chaos and carnage. Uh, <laughs> bright, not bright enough, but progress has been made. Now, the entire place has been thoroughly insulated. This is a workshop and the main reason for doing this has been so that I can store more timber here and dry more timber here and be happy with what's happening. Now originally my thought was I would make a, a, a dedicated timber store uh, which would take up some space uh, outside of the workshop, but that would be, well, it's not, it's not necessary. Uh, if I'm working on guitars, I want the whole environment to be as dry as it needs to be and as airtight as it needs to be. But we're there. Now, as it currently stands, this is the area where I'm gonna have my workbench. It's a little bit smaller in, in width than the, than the other workshop. And on the other side, on the other side, I'm gonna have, as you can see, I've been putting together some Ikea stuff, uh, a desk slash office area slash uh, tool collection. Uh, here we go, 400 year old plane, anybody? If not more. Uh, so all of this is gonna be filled out and looking and looking great. I'm really happy. I'm really, really, really happy. I need to build a workbench at some point. Probably not the next episode, but we shall see. It's going to be using CNC's and stuff, and uh, uh, there's a lot going on at Crimson. I need to sort out the whole tool, tool collection. I need to move the workbenches in the other area and make that far more user-friendly with islands in the middle and uh, wood racks around the outside. So I think the next video is probably going to be looking at uh, at that area of the workshop after that's been done. So yeah, this whole thing is going to culminate in a really cool tour. But uh, what would you like to see? What would you like to learn or to know about what I'm doing here? Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you on the flip side. Like, subscribe, share if you fancy. If not, you know, I'm done with that too. Goodbye.